Unfortunately, some men will not have any sperm. We think that about 1% of men in the general population don't produce sperm, and that's probably because of a genetic condition that they have, or it may on some occasions be due to some previous cancer treatment or medical therapy that's caused that to happen. Now, if a man doesn't have sperm, it can be quite distressing, clearly, if he wants to try for a baby. In some instances, we're able to find a small number of sperm by doing a, 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 taking a piece of tissue from his testicle and looking at it under the microscope and, a, and an embryologist will, will hunt around in that tissue to find sperm because although a man may not ejaculate sperm, he may still produce a few that never make it to the outside world. And if we're successful in finding sperm through that route, then that opens up the opportunity for him to use those sperm with his partner and for those sperm to be injected into his partner's eggs using a technique that we called ICSI. Unfortunately, if we don't find any sperm using that route, then really the only option that's available to that man is to consider using the sperm from a donor to fertilize the eggs from his partner. That may or may not be acceptable to him. The donor could be a family friend. It could be somebody that's known to him or it could be a donor that's anonymous to him at that point, him and his partner at that point, although any children born would have access to identifying information about that donor when they get to the age of 18. What we hope though is that in the future we might be better able to make sperm for men. And there's been some real advances in stem cell technology over the last few years, particularly in experimental animals such as mice. We can take stem cells, either from the testicle or from other parts of the man's body, and in quite sophisticated laboratory conditions, we can actually stimulate them some of the time to grow into rudimentary sperm. Now, we're not quite there with humans. We haven't quite got to the stage where we can routinely make sperm from the man's own stem cells. But my hope would be that in the next five or 10 years, that that may well become possible. And if that does become the case, then the ability to make sperm for men who don't produce any naturally will revolutionize the treatment of men with azoospermia.